Hello there, and welcome to another installment of the road trip. The task force road trip? I don't know. We'll call it something. So, in today's episode, or, well, I guess it's not really going to be a daily release, so. In this episode, we're taking a quick look at Blue Solution. Uh, which is a five-man task force. Well, at least at the time of the recording, it was a five-man task force uh, with some great fellas in it. Um, uh, I'm going to throw the hashtag down below, as always, in case you want to check it out. If you're looking to join a task force, if you're interested and you're like, hey, what's the deal with the five-mans? Is this my kind of thing? Um, and... They're basically in like a, I guess, hacksaw to upper lip, you know, on the, on the average day. Really, what it comes down to is intel for these guys. If they've got the intel to run it, they will run it. So like, normally they're you know around the upper limit, upper lip range, but you know if they can say pull off the intel for Mambo every day, I'm sure they'd be all over that. Um, really nice uh, group they like they're uh, I guess kind of sp uh, mid 40 ish uh, XP like each person is XP for 43 plus let's say um, so definitely I guess a higher end task force and uh, basically they got started just just for fun like honestly it's um, just kind of like it, it just organically happened which is very cool uh you know no no backstory which kind of sucks but hey that's all right uh the biggest problem they're running into actually right now though is finding committed players uh who you know are gonna be there daily because they do run daily ops and they're you know they even if it is maybe a lower level op, just because they don't have the intel, they will start an op every single day. Uh, this is an English-speaking task force, and they are located primarily in the U.S. Um, so if you're, you know, if you're kind of in the general area and speaking the general language, uh, you might want to take a look. I don't know. It could be a thing. Maybe. Who knows? Uh... Currently, right now, uh, they're, you know, they obviously have, like, regulations on Intel. You have to get so much Intel, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Um, one of the really interesting uh, rules, like, in the message of the day, as far as ruling, uh, one of the really interesting ones that I thought was kind of cool is um, you have to boost at least two statues when you attack. So, you, you, they don't tell you what statues you gotta boost. If you wanna boost GBE, you boost GBE. If you wanna boost troop damage, you boost troop damage. If you wanna boost resource rewards, okay, they might have a thing against that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it, it was very cool. Kind of be, I guess, partially because there's not a whole lot of room for... Uh, failure in the five man. Uh, this is obviously the first five man I've ever been in, uh, and the the first time I've really experienced, I guess, the five man opness. Uh, I don't know the the kind of the the scenario that you run into with the five man because what it comes down to is uh, f because half of their uh, I guess teammates are lower level uh, they tend to kind of get mushed together on uh, ops and then the higher level people in the task force are kind of expected to solo because when, you, when you're hitting a base with four cores and you've only got five people pretty much each person has to take down a core um, so, which is you know pretty intense when all is said and done because that's a lot of pressure man I I'm not gonna lie I like I was like you know a couple of times 
I was like, oh yeah, I could totally take down this, uh, this ta like this core with no boost. I don't need to boost. I could do this in my sleep, and I still found myself boosting because I was like, oh shnikes, man, if if I like screw up, I I want to have that extra little bit of um, GBE to to kind of pull my way through, or I, I want to have that extra troop damage. So if, you know, my finesse attempt fails, I can just brute force my way through and make a win happen, you know what I mean? Uh, so I, I definitely was uh, boosting uh, quite a bit more, actually, um, in this task force in comparison to some of the other task forces that I have joined. And I really didn't mind, like, it, it was very fun. Um, and, and they, like, you know, obviously they were really nice about it and everyone was kind of doing the same thing. So when you're on a team where everybody's boosting at least two statues every time they attack, you don't feel like, oh man, I'm boosting six statues so that I can solo this and then, like, half of the other people who are attacking are not boosting at all and then, you know... Uh, everybody has to pull their weight. I gotta say, that's the, the biggest thing I noticed about the five man. Um, that some of the, like, 50 man for sure, but even the 25 man. Like, in the 50 and 25s, it, you could kind of flub it. You could, if you had to you know, have a couple people fail or not attack and still move forward, uh, assuming you're not doing wicked, wicked high-end ops. Um, but with the five-man, even at, like, the level of upper lip, there is not a large gap for failure. Like, if you have two people fail their attack, you're not clearing that that op, you know? Like, you, you're not going to get the win, which... It was kind of interesting. I don't know. And and it was great to see with the small team because it is such a small team. The connections are very tight. Everybody was very, like, everybody knew everybody else. It was kind of like coming from a small town instead of a big city. You know what I mean? Like, the 50 man is kind of like a big city where you might see the same people day in and day out, but... You don't really know them, you know, like, you're doing your thing, and they're doing their thing, and you you take the same subway line, but, eh, you know? Um, so, it, 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 it was definitely very, very fun to rock the five-man and just see the difference in what, I guess, happens and how people are and whatnot. Um, but, anyway, moving on. The biggest problem that they, uh, or sorry, not the biggest problem they run into, with the, uh, with Sabotage, the, like, the biggest thing that set them apart, aside from the fact that it was the only five-man, was they've actually used Sabotage. Uh, and, and don't get me wrong, it's not like, oh, hey, this is a tough base, let's Sabotage. Apparently what happens every once in a while is uh, they'll hit the intel cap and just be like, well, we've capped intel, let's just use some sabotage to make life a little easier and we'll move on. Uh, which is very interesting, I think. Like, uh, to, to hit intel cap, it, it's pretty intense. Like, all the power to them. Um, now, also, they didn't really say if they had a favorite or least favorite uh, map, because it sounds like pretty much anything these guys get thrown at them, they just roll right through it. They just kick the crap out of everything. They were just like, mm, yeah, no favorite or least favorite, just win. Brar, you know what I mean? Uh, which is very cool. It, it was definitely entertaining to watch. Um, and they even admittedly, uh, because, you know, I, I asked, like, hey, why, why are you guys a five-man? Why, why not go to, like, ten-man, or twenty-five-man, or fifty-man? Why chill at five? And, and basically, part of it is the challenge. So, the, the strategy required to finish an op, because, um, 
you know, uh, you don't have that buffer. You don't have those extra people. So you, you really got to step it up and kind of, you know, give it your all, for lack of a better way of putting it. Um, and and I, th I thought that was very cool. Uh, also, uh, they were looking to avoid leeches, I guess is the nice way of putting them. I, I'm pretty sure that's the term out there that uh, people use and whatnot. So... Uh, you know, no leeches is kind of nice too. Everybody has had that time where they've been like, oh man, this person hasn't attacked or earned any intel in like the last week. What is going on? And, you know, you don't have to worry about that in the five man. You see it very quickly. Also, what's really interesting, just completely on a side note, completely unrelated to the task force and everything, uh, because I did a couple of 50 mans and 25 mans, and I've done like all of these larger task forces, uh, it was really funny because, like, especially with the 50 man on, say, Stronghold, where you've got a lot of attacks, like, I couldn't even do a single day to, like, put all the attacks together like I, I literally had to go through and choose like highlight attacks uh, the best of the attacks and then show them because I otherwise I wouldn't be able to show everything or or like the episode would be like three hours long um I think the the one like I think maybe it was choke point or stronghold can't remember exactly which one, but like literally recording every attack, it took over like an hour and 20 minutes, like insane amounts of time. Uh, whereas with the five mans, they're all so teeny and tiny and cute, you can like blow through, like I, I think I in this video I have like two or three days worth and it's like every attack for the entire thing, uh, which I thought was really cool. It was just... It was interesting to see, like, I, I guess, um, the the difference in time, in total time that it takes to pull off the attack. So, like, each individual attack is going to be, you know, like, one to four minutes, pretty much. Like, definitely won't go more than four minutes, probably won't be less than one minute, unless something really, really horrible goes wrong. Um... Which, let's face it, sometimes really, really horrible goes wrong happens. Um, oh, also, tip for uh, super secret strategy. Those critters up at the top, key. That's your strategy right there. Those critters up top equals win. Uh, it, this is actually one of those attacks where I was like, I really could have done that without being boosted at all. I have extra GBE, what am I going to do? Eh, I'm just going to throw critters off somewhere, who cares? Um, anyways, so, uh, da, 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 da. right now, because it's a five-man, communication is really easy, just straight up right through the task force chat, so they don't use any third parties, no Facebooks, no nothing like that, um, which is completely understandable, because with five people... You're, you're not like scrolling through text every time you log on like I know I've Been in a couple task forces now where like I log off for five minutes and I come back and There's over a hundred posts and I'm just like whoa What could I have possibly missed? Um, <laughs> with such a small task force though, you don't really have to worry about that because even if everyone said 20 different sentences, it'd all still be in the history. Uh, and, and that includes yourself, which means you should be involved in the conversation somehow and, you know, reading it. But anyways, um, so yeah, they, they just use the, the chat, which is very cool. And of course, uh, when it comes to... Uh, what they would love to see done to task forces slash ops to make things better uh, they went with better searching for task force like for not only people to find a task force but for task forces to find people 
So right now, because they have, uh, you know, people looking for task forces, you've got one way of re recruiting, basically. But they were saying if there was some sort of way also for task forces to search for individual players. So if you're looking for a task force, you could, like, you know, say, throw on a switch and be like, I'm looking for a task force that's doing this. And then they could, like, look at the pool of people and be like, hey, this guy is looking for a task force to do this and has such and such. Uh, which I thought was a, a kind of a cool idea. It, it's almost like, you know, instead of just ha roaming around buying things online, now you've also got companies calling you up and being like, hey, do you want to... Oh my god, that's telemarketing. That sounds like a horrible idea. Wait a minute. I'm going to rethink this. Uh, at least for um, the purposes of Boom Beach, though. I, I think it would be really cool, really nice. It would make things really easy. And uh, it would be a nice twist, I guess, on, on things. Um, now, so uh, what else? Sorry. Uh... Oh, and also, uh, one of the big uh, suggestions that they brought to the table also was um, cleaning up the freaking task force list. And I can appreciate this because I, you know, doing. Oh, calm down, buddy. Um, doing this series and running around and jumping through task forces, and, uh, you know, because for the longest time I didn't. Act, like, this five-man uh, hashtag was sent to me a million years ago. Um, but every time I checked it, it was always full, always full, always full, always full. So it kind of turned into a... Well, if they're always going to be full, I'm going to have to find an alternative. I'm going to have to find another five-man so that I can, you know, make this happen. Because it, having a five-man video was an absolute must. It was one of the things that I wanted to fit in. Um, so, like, I did do some searching around in that task force list, and I, like, there, there's, there's a lot of junk in there. Uh, you know, like, a lot of task forces, I'd be searching through, scrolling through, <clears throat> excuse me, and <clears throat> I'd see, like, a ten man with two people in it. Or a five-man with one person in it. I even saw task forces that had had the message of the day changed to, this task force is abandoned. Uh, you know, and, and they still show up in the list. It, it's like there's no way of deleting a task force. Uh, which means there's, there's a lot of junk floating around out there that maybe would be better off not out there. You know what I mean? Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yes, I, I think that would actually be a really nice idea. Whether they do it uh, kind of like a manual, like if you're if you're giving up on a task force and you're the leader, you go in and like check it off and it'll delete the task force. Or if, you know, they have some kind of algorithm running in the background somewhere where it's like, hey... This task force hasn't started an op in a month. I think we can write it off as gone. And, you know, just, like, auto-deletes it. I it, it would get really tough, like, for some sort of automatic deletion thing, I think. Uh, just because you'd, like, maybe, maybe there's, I don't know, maybe there are task forces out there that only do, like, one attack a week. I don't know why they would do one attack a week, but maybe they're out there and maybe they're just like, hey guys, every Friday we'll get together, we'll do an attack, it'll be awesome. And it's just like a group of people who don't even really want to do ops, they just, they do it for, uh, I don't know, getting, getting achievements or something? Um, <laughs> but, you know, a you, you could always run into that weird thing because you can't really, like, if one person's still in there and just, like, clearing their map, you can't really base this auto-deletion on, like, no activity at all because that one dude would be all it would take to keep the task force alive. And, again, I'm, I'm assuming because 
most of the task forces that I came across were like, you know, one or two people would still be left in there. And I don't know if those people are completely inactive or if those people just don't care about doing ops. So they're like, well, eh, whatever, I don't care. You know, and they're just kind of chilling there. It's it's kind of hard to, to say, but if they are indeed people who are active and doing map clearing and don't want to join another task force for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe they're waiting for a friend to come back or something before they leave. I, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, something really should be done to clean that whole mess up. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully this has been entertaining. And most importantly, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day.